Paying the correct amount of stamp duty is absolutely critical as a document that is not duly stamped may not be read in evidence. So how does one ensure that the stamp duty payable to the government is accurate? Well, this can be achieved through a rather simple and transparent process as laid down by sections 31 and 32 of the Maharashtra Stamp Act. To begin, any person wanting to know the amount of duty payable on a document must apply for the opinion of the collector. Such application must be accompanied by the required fees which is to be calculated in accordance with section 31 subsection 1. Such fee in cases not involving ad valorem computation of stamp duty is set at rupees 100 and in cases involving ad valorem computation of stamp duty the fee goes up to rupees 25. Once the application is submitted along with the prescribed fees the collector may ask for certain additional documents including an affidavit to prove the facts and circumstances affecting the calculation of stamp duty in order for the collector to determine whether a, an article is applicable or not and if applicable what the duty would be. The collector has the right to refuse to proceed with the application until such documents and affidavits are provided to him. Under section 31.3 for the purpose of calculating the true market value, the Bombay Stamp Determination of True Market Value of Property Rules 1995 is referred to. This in Maharashtra is also referred to as the Ready Reckoner. In case the document being adjudicated is already executed and falls within the criteria of Section 31, uh, Subsection 4, then if any deficit stamp duty is observed, the collector may demand the same through a written notice from the person on whom duty is leviable as per section 30. And if such person fails to pay the deficit stamp duty within a period of 60 days, then such person shall be liable to pay a penalty on such deficit amount at a rate of 2% per month. Such penalty shall not exceed four times the deficit amount. Section 32 talks about a certificate in the form of an endorsement on the document. This certificate or endorsement is obtained from the collector in cases where the collector receives a document that is duly stamped as per the collector's opinion and after following the process and arriving at the calculations under Section 31. Furthermore, if a document is exempted from duty for whatsoever reason, then the collector under section 32 subsection 2 shall endorse the document mentioning the same. Section 32 subsection 3 gives the endorsement of the collector meaning and power. This endorsement is sufficient evidence that the document is duly stamped and once such endorsement is received, it is to be treated as duly stamped. If any person is dissatisfied by the market value calculated by the collector under section 31 subsection 3, then under section 32b, the said valuation may be challenged before the additional collector of stamps of Mumbai in cases where the property is situated out of Mumbai and in other cities before the Deputy Inspector General of Registration and Deputy Controller of Stamps. The order passed in appeal shall be final and binding. Section 32b, subsection 2, specifically even bars any revision of this order. However, section 32c is an exemption where the chief controlling revenue authority may sue moto, call for and examine any record and pass any order as he thinks fit and proper. Besides this, an order under Section 32B may be challenged under the writ jurisdiction of the appropriate High Court. That will be all for this video. As always, subscribe, like and share.